It's time to talk about Roblox burnout. I want to talk about this. And now, I think most people watching this definitely have like some sort of mild or severe burnout from Roblox, depending on how much you have been playing over the past few months. I was thinking about this whole Roblox is boring thingy that's been popping off over the past few days. Like every single day, there's at least one video that's been talking about this topic and giving their own takes on this situation. But I want to talk about burnout specifically here. And I'm kind of reflecting on this moment back in 2022, like early 2022. My friend just got and Role Pro, and if you don't know Role Pro, like for the mobile users or people who just don't know what that is, it's kind of a Roblox extension that gives you extra features. It's really good. I think you should go try it out. I'm waiting on like a Firefox version, like the current one on Firefox is like deprecated, so I haven't been using that one. But yeah, I think that if you're a PC player, you should, you should definitely go check it out once or twice or something like that. So my friend got the Role Pro for like a month. He got it on December 2021, the very beginning, and on January 2022, uh, we were just live streaming. And then we're just talking and stuff like that. And I was taking a peek at his last plate. Roper has a feature where it tracks the number of hours that you have sunk into these Roblox games. And I checked it and it was like some ungodly hours. I looked at Combat Warriors and it was like, yo, you have a hundred hours in Combat Warriors and you got this last month. Hey, bro, it ain't that bad. Ain't that bad? What are you talking about? It's time to touch grass. And so I looked at all of these games. I was doing the math right in front of him, right? I was doing the math right in front of him. And I did the math and I realized that he has spent over 200 hours, 200 to 250 hours playing Roblox within the last month alone. And some people are like, yo, that's not even that bad. Psst, I do that. Nah, bro. 250 hours is like 62 hours a week in a week of seven days. Two and a half of that goes to Roblox. That's insane. You gotta play Roblox for like nine hours a day, nonstop, without fail, to get numbers like he did. I'm sorry, bro. You need an intervention. It's time to go to Roblox rehab, man. What? There's Roblox rehab? Yes. It's time for you to get inside, bro. This ain't healthy. Crackheads, bro. And I assume if he's been doing this since like 2015, which was when he joined, you know, a lot of it went to combat games. He's really into combat and Royal High for some reason. Like he had 100 hours in Combat Warriors. Yes, but he had like 60 hours in Royal High or something. I have no idea why this is like a 16 year old dude at the time. If he's been putting 250 hours per month into Roblox and he's been doing this for like the past seven years because, you know, 2022 minus 2015 equals seven. That's like 21,000 hours in Invested into Roblox over the past seven years, assuming he's been playing Roblox for like nine hours a day on average. And I was seeing this dude, he puts up crazy hours. I mean, he was asleep for some of that, he does AFK grinding from time to time, but still, even if half of that was when he was awake, that's still 10,000 hours. That's still insane. And looking at me, at the time, I think I was averaging about, I think, 70, 80 hours, like 100 hours or something like that. So like a half of my friend's numbers, basically. And even that is really bad. It's time to touch grass. But I told this to him, I told him, yo, this is a problem. You need, you, you need to stop. You, you need to actually stop. Because the thing is, I feel like Roblox isn't going to be fun if you spend more than 100 hours on this game every single week and making it your life or something like that. I mean, if you, if you con <laughs> it's actually sad. Like, if you convert the amount of hours playing Roblox into something, like, even half of that, converting something to actually useful, like, for example, I don't know, playing the piano, learning how to code or something, just converting maybe even a quarter of that would actually make you really good at that skill. But... <laughs> nah, it's all spent the Roblox, bro, and, it, and it's bad. <laughs> I'm of the opinion that when most people say that Roblox is boring, is that they have poured in ungodly amounts of hours into this game. And of course, if you knew put in that many hours into something, of course it's going to be boring. In fact, it's actually an accomplishment that you got like so many hours in with the feeling of being boring. Like I'm actually surprised Like there's a lot of people who say, oh, this game is boring and stuff like that, but still continue to make like 80, 100 hours. I swear to God, some of you guys need to download like a playtime track or something like that. Roblox will never do that because they don't want you guys to know how <laughs> addicted some of you guys are into this. And so you become, a, there's a situation where you play basically all the good games of Roblox, like the games that are worth playing. You play all of those games. And at a certain point, it's like, 
what else is there to do? And I kind of understand why when you're putting in like 80 to 100 hours, you can be burst through a lot of games and you can go through like the honey sta moon stages of those games really fast. Like there was this one friend I recommended Fry Fighting to him. I was like, oh cool, it's fighting. It's a new game you can check out. It's like, yo, I have like level 100 already. already. I'm like level 100. I'm, this game is boring to me now. I played at least 100 hours into it. And I'm like, bro, this game just got released. This game just got popular like yesterday, bro. How do you already have level 100? Because this dude was spending like at least 10 hours a day grinding this game for like a weeks and in that sense it's like yo why would Roblox not be boring like i don't i don't understand if you're putting like 100 hours into it of course it's gonna be boring right it's time to touch concrete and so this is a gradual thing as well i think most people uh most people were able to get away with just playing for like 10 12 hours without feeling bored i think a lot of people like that, that's how i used to be back then i remember as a kid like i would just spend i think all my time just playing roblox bro and honestly that's not healthy bro that's not it's not healthy i was neglecting a lot of stuff in my personal life as well i mean as a kid what i didn't really have to do much i mean i did kind of did sports i kind of did extra stuff along the way but any free time i had it was roblox 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 and i think if you're watching this deep into the video you definitely can relate to me on this one and that's not good bro and that's not good you're not balanced you're not balanced i think i don't know is there a healthy amount to play roblox personally i think there is a healthy amount which is 10 to 20 hours a week 10 to 20 hours a week like five times less than what a lot of other these other people are doing and so if we did the math like let's say i don't know like 20 hours a week the highest limit 20 hours a week is like almost three hours a day which in my opinion is still quite a lot already you can get a lot of stuff done in those two to three hours and by the way not all those hours are quality time there's a lot of time you spend on robots just messing around or dicking with a game that really you shouldn't be dicking around with in the first place. I know some people are like, I'm so bored. I got to play anime clicking simulator or I got to play pet simulator or something like that. I'm so bored. All the good Roblox games are gone. No, you don't have to play Roblox if you don't have to, bro. Why are you still playing games and giving your time, that precious time to these games when you don't got time to do anything else? You don't have to play these games if you don't want to just because you're bored, bro. Do something else. Yo, bro, read a book or something. I swear, just go read a book or something. I don't know. Figure out how to play the piano if like just go play the electrical piano or something it's probably like online keyboard pianos online or something like that it's time to touch water i don't know play and pick up another different game on steam or something or maybe you should do the homework that you have been procrastinating on i know there's some massive procrastinators out there bro that haven't done homework for like the past month and stuff like that bro school just started bro it's like january it's like it's almost february now like school's been starting for you guys i think for like a week or two now it's probably homework already piling up you gotta do that shit now and i think that it's because people just need to be really selective about their time now basically a lot of people like they don't even enjoy the games that they play they play the crappiest games imaginable but they just want to fail space with time when that time could be spent doing anything else literally these games like anime clicking simulator in my opinion you're better than that you're not they, they don't worth like all these trash ass roblox games they're not worth time they're not worth your time like your hour an hour of your time is way more important than spending on games like that you gotta value your time basically because this is how i look at it like there's always good roblox games coming out every single day maybe that's like one or two of these and then for every single good roblox game there's probably like five to ten crappy ones or mediocre ones and there's like 30 really bad ones basically honestly your time should just be spent on the good one or the great one that comes around every once in a while instead and no time very little time maybe like an hour a month should be spent on anything that's actually just decent because that's where your time should be spent basically because you don't have time to sit through like so many mediocre ass robots games giving them like five to ten hours grinding them out or something like that using auto clickers and all those goofy stuff you don't need to do any of that and i think this is where burnout really just comes from is that people just get bored of robots because they force themselves to play bad games when they got bored of the good ones this roblox is boring argument this the whole thing i i think i need to go deeper into this there's so many other different aspects that i still haven't talked about but talking about burnout i think most people should just stop playing the game less when you do anything anything you do something anything for like 10,000 hours it's gonna feel boring to you now and the fact is if you have gotten like 10,000 hours into roblox it's like technically you have already run its course with like the brain what the brain can do with roblox basically your honeymoon stage is pretty much over and i guess the brain is time to signaling you it's, it's signaling you it's time to move on it's time to okay i got nothing on me right now <laughs> the brain is signaling you yo bro you've been on this game for like 10 20, 20 hours i'm bored it's time to move on and some people just don't 
people, some people just don't. They just want to keep playing the game. And I'm sorry, bro. If it feels boring to you, it's time to move on. Do something else, basically. Don't be one of those people that spends, I think, another 100 hours of their week playing this game, even though they always complain that it's boring. You know what I mean? Because it's really, because the good in Roblox is actually much higher than what it was back in the day. In terms of games, in terms of games, there's way more good games now than what we I had back in like 2018, 2019, uh, 2016, something like that. We pick up all the good Roblox games and we go toe to toe. Yeah, I think over, overall, there's going to be way more ro good Roblox games in 2023. The only difference is that there's way too many bad games. And you can, as a player, as a player, as a consumer of Roblox, you don't have to play any of these games. All you can do is just filter them out, get the good, ignore the bad, play this for like 10 to 20 hours and fill your time doing extra stuff outside of Roblox, basically. Touch grass. That's the more of the story, bro. <laughs> Sorry for my morning voice, by the way. I'm recording this at like 6 a.m. Uh -huh.